as we were thinking about our 10th anniversary season, we were thinking of different ways that we could really showcase what a Far Cry is about. And this program is very much about the process of being in a Far Cry. A little? Yeah! <laughs> There's an expression get, which just a little more of the people use who right? have yeah. no idea what uh, the original context is, which is playing second fiddle, and in which, which has a pejorative connotation. And one thing about this concert is everyone, including each of our soloists, is playing second fiddle at some point in the program. And that's, in a way, what it's about. It's about how sometimes we strive for this ideal, we strive for a strong hierarchy, for some kind of uh, leader that will make everything better, or, um, or, or some smooth process. And, and it never ends up that way. Even when things work out beautifully or work out great, there's tension that's always underlying our best work. The Conference of the Birds is a piece uh, for 18 solo strings, so each player has his or her own part. Uh, it's about 20 or 25 minutes long, and it's based on this 12th century Persian epic poem called The Conference of the Birds. But I actually came to it through a, a secondary source. Uh, the Czech illustrator and author Peter Cease mm -hmm. made this beautiful version, through graphic novel version of Conference of the Birds. Mm -hmm. uh, the original Conference of the Birds has an almost pedagogical tone to it. It's a little like a, a moral guidebook uh, to the path to enlightenment. So it describes a story about the birds of the world who gather together in the need of a king. They, their world is wrought with strife and they need a ruler. And the hoopoe bird decides or tells the other birds that the best plan is to fly east, to find the legendary Smorg, who is their, will be their king. Um, and they take off on this journey, fly through seven valleys. Uh, many of the birds die along the way, many give up, and at the end only 30 birds remain. They find a lake at the top of a mountain and look into that lake and see only their own reflection and realize that they are collectively their own king. But in the version that Peter Cease wrote, the emphasis is less on the path to enlightenment or truth. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about uh, um, sort of this moral guidebook. It's, at least what I got out of it, was an emphasis on, on the birds who don't make it. Mm -hmm. And this deep sadness, perhaps, of the human condition that whatever we try to do, whatever progress we try to achieve, there'll be those who are left behind. And that's sort of the emphasis of my piece. the crier violinists so. and I, Wendy I started to discussing yeah. the the idea behind this program a couple years ago and they were really interested in the story of the conference of the birds and how these themes of leadership and individuals um, and f leaders individuals um, group dynamics sort of come about in that story and are such an integral part of A Far Cry's identity. And so the rest of the program um, explores these themes of leaders and false prophets and loss and the search for enlightenment. And, you know, we have these incredible soloists coming to join us, Stefan and Alexi. Um, but the pieces they're playing aren't your typical concerti. So they're not, the Bach double and, and Arvo Peretz tabula rasa aren't exactly flashy solo concerti, but um, they have a really beautiful 
sort of relationship to the to the group where the continuo is just as important as as the solo voices. Um, so you'll hear you'll hear these really beautiful special textures that are going to explore these themes throughout the whole program. <laughs> Trying not to crack up, but it's good. <laughs> 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 